Hi, this is Pim from Smart Diabetics Academy. Today I'm going to share my diabetes diet plan that works with you. In today's video, I want to discuss a well-formulated diabetes plan and the components that need to be included in it for it to work. And I'm also going to give you a special discount code for all my YouTube followers if you are so inclined. But before we get to the meat of the video, if you want to learn more about type 2 diabetes, how to reverse it, please subscribe to this channel. Just hit the subscribe button down there and also give the video a thumbs up. Right, so for any diabetes plan to work, it needs to address the hyperinsulinemia, which basically means that you need to lower the insulin in your body. Since insulin is driven by food intake, especially carbohydrates and to some degree proteins, we need to adjust these in order to reduce the insulin response. And there are literally three ways that you can do this with diet. So the first way we can do this is by reducing the amount of carbohydrates that we're eating and this is something that scares many people because we have been taught that we need carbohydrates for energy or we won't have any energy but this isn't true okay if you are primarily eating carbohydrates as your main fuel you will be a carb burner but the problem for diabetics is that they aren't very good carb burners due to the insulin resistance. But they're also not good fat burners because the insulin is high pretty much all the time, which prevents them from accessing the fat that they have stored on their bodies. And the only way that we can teach our bodies to use that fat rather than carbs is by reducing the insulin so that we can access the fat. So. Once this happens, you can start burning fat. But before that even happens, you, you might notice that you're always low on energy. So what will happen is that when you start using fat for energy and when your body is actually getting good at that, you will notice that you have much more energy available. You will feel more clear in your mind. The brain fog will be gone. You might wake up feeling more refreshed and you won't have that 2 p.m. afternoon slump and just need a nap at that time of the day because we have a lot of fat on our bodies so we literally never run out of it unless we're starving for a very long time okay so the second way we can do this is actually doing it with a low calorie diet which we have been told to do for many many years now so in terms of lowering insulin, this can absolutely work long term. It will take longer than doing it by reducing the carbohydrates, but it, it will work eventually. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately because I like eating, it has many downsides to it as well. And it has a lot of downsides for your metabolism. So whenever you are reducing your calories, your body will readjust its basal metabolic rate, the BMR, which is the amount of energy that your body needs in one day to keep you alive. Like if you do nothing, if you're in coma, that sort of energy, that's the lowest amount of energy that you need to survive. That's your BMR. So what usually happens is that when you cut your calories in the beginning, you're going to lose weight and everyone is happy and things are going the way that you want them to go. And then you start getting cold. And we're told that this is normal. It is normal because that's going to happen. And then you hit that plateau where you're not going to lose any more weight and you're not going to see any more benefits in a lot of things that you initially saw. And you can't seem to get past this plateau because what's happened is that your body has now readjusted the amount of energy that is spent on non-essential maintenance such as keeping you warm and everything that is included in the BMR basically 
so your skin might start going dry your hair might start falling out you might start getting really tired again and you just don't feel well in general it's like you don't have any energy <laughs> because literally you don't have any energy so despite having better insulin sensitivity now and your diabetes might start going away slowly you don't feel good so this is really not something that I recommend that you do especially not if you like feeling alive and if you like eating until satiety this is not a good way of doing it and if you want to keep your hormones in the right balance this is not recommended okay so the third way that we can do it is by not eating as in fasting and I've made a few videos on fasting to reverse diabetes but the important thing to keep in mind is that any time that you are not eating your insulin will be low or if you just ate it will not increase anymore it will start decreasing until it hits the baseline and then it will stay there so what you want to do is that you want to have longer periods of time where you have your insulin at baseline if you're very insulin resistant, it might take quite a while before your insulin gets down to baseline, but the more you're doing it, the quicker that is going to happen. So the longer periods of time you cannot eat, the better you will be at keeping your insulin low. So for example, if you fasting for three days, you're going to keep your insulin low for a very long time. If you do intermittent fasting, it's going to be a little bit shorter. But both of them are very beneficial. And there are ways of doing this without being hungry that I've talked about on other videos. But one of the macronutrients that doesn't affect insulin much is fat. So if you are hungry when you're fasting and you don't want to break your fast, you can just eat pure fat. And I mean pure fat. So check the labels. Bacon is not pure fat. Everyone says, oh, bacon is just fat. But there is a lot of protein in there. So you can't just eat bacon unless you just get the fat. On the bacon for example um, so depending on where you start if you are someone who right now eat a lot of carbohydrates you are eating three main meals per day and you're snacking three to four times just cutting those snacks are gonna give you benefits and you can go slow you don't have to go from eating three meals and four snacks per day to eating one meal per day so go stepwise and do whatever you can right now to get towards that and start increasing the the amount of time where you're not eating right so those are the three things that can work when it comes to to diet so whenever you are sort of either signing up for a diabetes diet plan or whether you are constructing your own plan make sure that it addresses step number one and number three that i was speaking about and low carbohydrates and trying to increase the amount of time between your meals as much as possible the amount of calories that you're eating isn't actually that important especially not in the beginning when you shift from being a sugar burner to a fat burner because what is going to happen is that you're going to be really really hungry in the beginning and you don't want to think well I can't eat that because there's too many calories because then you're going to fail it is better that you focus on the right types of food just get them in in the beginning your appetite is going to go down because when you are starting to burn fat you're not going to be as hungry because you're able to literally eat yourself you're eating the fat off your body you don't need to eat other foods because you already have it on you and if you are currently looking for a program that addresses all of these aspects and a lot more i have a special discount code for all my youtube followers who want to enroll in the smart blood sugar solution i created this program for to help my clients so that they can learn enough to question everything that I or anyone else says when it comes to diet. So it's walking you through the foods, the exact macros to aim for, how to track and interpret your data and your results, how to transition safely from a high carbohydrate diet to a low carbohydrate diet, 
and what to do when things aren't going the way that you expect them to go because diabetes and blood sugar is very individual it, you won't react the way that I will react to something because we're two different people so something that works for me might not work for you so I'm it, it's walking you through what to look for and how to find out how to troubleshoot what it is that you what the problem might be and um, we're talking about your relationship with food sleep habits stress management and other strategies that might be helpful for you to manage your blood sugar and as with all my programs I don't want it to just end there so we always develop a plan for the future that you can use to keep working towards your goal and where you want to be even after reversing your diabetes like where where do you want to go how do you want your diet to look in the future in case you don't want to stay on this strict ketogenic diet forever but I don't want you to do this on your own. So I'm including three sessions for everyone who's purchasing this course to help you reach your goal. So you get three free sessions of coaching with me and you can use them however you want. You will still have to do the work yourself, but I can help you troubleshoot or overcome any obstacles that you might come across, whether that be with the diet or external factors, people in your life, whatever it is. And if you do all of this work and you use your coaching sessions with me and you don't see any results I'm gonna give you your money back because I know that this program works so if you happen to be this special snowflake that doesn't respond for whatever reason I'm not going to charge you okay so you have my word you can take a recording of this because I don't want your money if I can't help you it's that simple so if you have been thinking about or wondering where to get your hands on a diabetes reversal program that actually does what it's supposed to do i want to encourage you to enroll now just click the link in the description and sign up for the program and use don't forget to use the special discount code that you will see just right underneath that link to get your special discount up for being one of my YouTube followers. I hope to see you there.